viewers, hello everyone, welcome back to the GC panel online. In this particular tutorial, we are focused on math mechanics. We are focused on math mechanics and the key topic we are looking at is probability. Focus on exams, probability. I think we have about 10 questions we are going to answer from 2011 to 2023 in this series. So this is the first uh, question on the probabilities and don't forget to watch this till the end and to share. Let's take the question. So uh, this paper is June 2016, uh, question 8, and it reads, you can download it from the link below this video. Two boxes are labeled A and B. Box A contains four red marbles and two blue marbles. Box B contains six red marbles and four blue marbles. An experiment consists of throwing a fair die and selecting a marble. If a prime number shows on the die, a marble is selected from box A. Otherwise, a marble is selected from box B. Draw a probability tree diagram showing the possible outcome from the experiment. Using the tree diagram or otherwise, find the probability that A, a red ball is selected. B, a blue ball is chosen from box B. Uh, this is the first part of the equation, a sub two. The events P and Q are such that the probability of P equals two feet, probability of P intersection Q equals two on seven, and the probability of P given Q equals four on seven. Find C, the probability of Q, D, the probability of Q given P, and E, determine whether the events P and Q are independent. So now we are going to tackle this question. Like I said before, the focus is on pure math mechanics paper three, and we are going to be looking at strictly the topic probability. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this video. If you enjoy this video and you don't share it, it means you are not helping us. Please subscribe and click on notifications and share in at least 10 WhatsApp groups and on Facebook. So now uh, let us tackle the question. According to this question, we have two boxes. These boxes are A and B. In box A, we have four red marbles and two blue marbles. In box B, we have six red marbles and four blue marbles. In, now, in an experiment that is carried out, it is such that they have to throw a fair die. A die has six faces, a fair die. Okay, a fair die means that all the faces have equal chances of being selected from one to six. Now, when this die is thrown and a prime number shows on the die, then we are going to select from box A. A marble is selected from box A. Okay, but if we throw the die and the number that shows up is not prime, then we select from box B. The first thing is, what are prime numbers? Prime numbers are two, three, and five in the list from one to six. One is not a prime number. This way many students will get it wrong because a prime number must have two factors, one and itself. One has just one factor, which is just one. So the only prime numbers we have are two, three, and five, as long as a fair die with six faces is rolled. So they say we should draw a tree diagram. So you can get these materials from the website of the GCE panel. You can download this video too from the link or the audio or the papers from the link below. So let us draw this tree. So we have um, either box A or B, okay? Either box A or B. So uh, for this, when we throw the die, you can either have A or B, okay? So, but how do we select from A or B? 
You select from A or B depending on if the number is prime or not. So prime here is P. Why not prime is P prime? Okay. Probability of having a prime number is 3 on 6 because 2, 3, and 5 are prime numbers. The remaining 3 numbers are not prime. Why the probability of not having a prime number is also 3 on 6. So the chances of prime or not prime are 50 50. Now, if a prime number shows, we are going to select from box. Which of the boxes? Box A. Okay. So we are going to select from box A. So with this box A now, there are two sets. Box A has four red marbles and two blue marbles, altogether six. So the probability of selecting a red marble from box A will be the number of red marbles that we have, which is four on six, and the remaining two are blue marbles. So for blue marbles, we have two on six. Now, if the number is not prime, then we can equally uh, we are going to select from box uh, from box B now, right? In this case, now from box B, which has we currently has um, six red marbles and four blue, so we are either going to have six red marbles. Six plus four is ten. Six red marbles on ten, or four blue marbles on ten. So this is the tree diagram for the selection. Now, someone that's going to prefer to put A here and B here, that's similar, uh, box A and box B, instead of prime and not prime, that is still okay. So now, they say that uh, using this tree diagram or otherwise, find the probability that a red ball is drawn. For the probability of a red ball, a red ball can be drawn from either box A or box B, okay? So, let us see. So, from this... For red, probability of red to be equal to either we have a prime number, we have red from box A, that is the probability of a prime intersection red, that's uh, from box A, or the probability that if the number is not prime and we get the uh, red from box B, okay? So that's going to be probability of prime intersection red, that's for box A, plus probability of prime not prime intersection red, okay? So now we are just going to multiply probabilities because these are independent events. So we are going to have 3 over 6 times 4 over 6 plus 3 over 6 times 6 over 10 for the second, because it's the either case, right? And when we simplify this, we are going to have 19 on 30. 19 on 30. Now the B part says I find the probability that a blue ball is selected from box B. So this box B here, right? The second box or the other box B is P prime, okay? Not prime number. So this is the case of box B. And to select a red, a blue ball from its probability of blue. So the probability of selecting a blue ball from box B will be given by probability of blue from B is equal to three over six. That's probability that it is not prime. Intersection of probability that it is blue. So you are going to have uh, 3 over 6 times 4 over 10. So 3 over 6 times 4 over 10. And that is going to give us a value which is equal to 1 on 5 after simplifying. Okay? I know most of you, you will watch all these videos, but you will not subscribe at all. You are not helping the panel. And it's very, very unpatriotic. Let me use the term unpatriotic. You enjoy our content and you don't want to help us. We know you are planning to have A grades. We ourselves online, we are trying to have an A grade. If you cannot promote our work online, then you will not be helping us to make more. So uh, I don't know how we are going to work together if you don't want to support us. If you click on the subscribe button and you share this video, you will not die. So please, I know you have been clicking for other countries, for Nigerians and so on, but the ones that are made by Cameroonians, we don't click, it's bad. Let's move to the B part. The events P and Q are such that P probability of P equals 2 on 5 and probability of Q equals 2 on 7 and probability of P giving Q is 4 on 7. Find the probability of Q. So we know the probability of P given Q is probability of P intersection Q or the probability of Q, right? Because that's the only possibility we have now. So from here, we can make the probability of Q the subject of this formula. So this implies the probability of Q is equal to probability of P intersection Q divided by probability of P given Q. Okay? So we put in these our values. That's going to be uh, 2 
over 7 divided by 4 over 7 and that's just going to give you 2 over 4 which is equal to a half 2 over 4 which is equal to a half now the d part probability of cure given p so the probability of cure given p would be equal to probability of p intersection cure divided by probability of p and our probability of p here is 2 feet so this would just be equal to 2 over 7 divided by 2 over 5 and the final answer will just be equal to 5 over 7 when you simplify the last part of the question determine whether the event p and q are independent so for us to depend determine if p and q are independent probability of p inter, uh, times probability of q should be equal to the probability of p intersection q that's what how what you're going to test so probability of p times probability of q here is 2 over 5 times 1 over 2 which is 1 feet equation one let's call that equation one and the probability of p intersection cure is equal to one on two so you can say the two values are not the same right so since the probability of p times probability of cure is not equal to the probability of p intersection cure we conclude that the events p and cure are not independent so we are now looking at we are going now going to look at question two focus on exams pure math mechanics probability question two don't forget to subscribe don't leave without sharing this video and liking this video if you really love us share this video to at least 10 whatsapp groups and you will see the miracle of what you have in your exams god bless you as you prepare for your exams And if you need the solution manual for all the past mechanics uh, questions, click on the link below and discuss with us for a copy. Bye-bye.